Hey, in this screencast, we're going to do almost the same thing as we did in the previous one, where we overrode variable in a local scope. However, this time we're going to create a new variable in a local scope. And this is relevant for cases where you know that the variable will only be used in that section of the app. So it's no need putting it in the global scope here up in the root. Let's, for example, say that we want the red color in our nav bar to have a different shade than it has throughout the app. What we then can do is that on the nav bar, let's target it, nav bar, simply create a new variable just as we do it in the root by doing dash dash. Let's call it nav red. And then let's paste this value in actually and just change it a little bit. I'm going to remove this six and add a one. That should make it a bit different, though still pretty red. And then down in the anchor tags in the nav bar, where we previously referred to the global red variable, we're now going to refer to the nav red. And there, as you can see, the color changed to a more red orange ish color. And now this nav red is only available in the nav bar, which is the markup here meaning that only the children inside this element can access the navred variable. So if I now try to use this navred variable outside of the nav bar, let's for example, try down in the button, make the background use the navred, you can see that just broke the layout because navred doesn't exist down here. It only exists inside here. So what I want you to do now is create a local variable inside of the item. You can, for example, call it item yellow and then use that yellow inside of the items. So go ahead and do that. Pause the screencast, create a new variable in the item and then re and then use that variable somehow inside of the items. Okay, so hopefully you managed to do that. Now I'll show you how to do it as well. It's really simple simply do dash dash item yellow then set the value to this here but let's modify it a little bit let's swap out this c with an f that should, that should change it substantially and now we'll use the item yellow here copy this and paste it in and boom you can see the yellow color inside here is updated however inside of the button we're still referring to the global yellow so let's paste that one in there as well and there it's starting to look good or ugly depending on your design preferences and finally i want to point out that some people prefer to separate the declaration of variables and the reference so what you could do then is take this one and remove it and then do item and then paste it in there so now we're declaring it here and referencing it down here. And that's basically a matter of personal preferences, as you can do whatever you want. Okay, that was it. So I'll see you in the next screencast.